I want you to picture this. I am at a bowling alley. Let's say I'm being a weirdo and I'm just hanging out there by myself, just getting ready to bowl. And some kid, I don't know, some 10-year-old kid comes up to me and starts telling me, you suck at bowling. I'm way better than you. You're an idiot. He's just being a nasty, disrespectful little kid. And so I challenge this kid at bowling. Would I take it easy on him? No, he's not my kid. I don't like him at all. I would just utterly destroy him, make fun of him while he's rolling gutter balls and everything, just utterly destroy him. Why? Because I want him so demoralized that I never have to look at him again while I'm bowling. I'm going somewhere with this. Hang on for a second. But then what if it was my kids? And what if my kids started talking that same mess to me as they might do? Dad, you suck. Dad, I'm way better than you at bowling. And I'm looking at my kid, and I know I'm going to crush this kid at bowling. But I have a choice in that moment. He's never bowled before. I have a choice. I can make sure he learns his lesson gently, or I can destroy him and so demoralize him that I make sure he never wants to bowl again. Well, because I love him, because he's my kid, I'll put the little lane bumpers out there so he loses, but he's not rolling in, in the gutter every time feeling bad about himself. This stupid little story I just brought to you is exactly what's happening right now when it comes to Joe Biden, or the Biden versus Trump thing. Because I see a lot of people out there on the right, why didn't they raid Trump? Why didn't they raid Biden like they raided Trump? Because you saw, of course, FBI found even more documents over the weekend, but they're clearly holding hands on the whole thing. Joe Biden's inviting the FBI. Their lawyers are working with the DOJ. We now know the DOJ work with these people to keep it quiet until after the election. That alone should mean impeachment for Merrick Garland, by the way. That's like the biggest deal in the world, a Department of Justice colluding with the Biden administration to help Democrats win elections. But the right is tempted to do this. Well, they're not treating him like they treated Trump. Well, yeah. They wanted to embarrass and demoralize Donald Trump like I would want to do with the kid I don't know. With Joe Biden, oh, they want to defeat him. Don't get me wrong. This is Democrats doing it to him. They want him gone. They want him to lose. They essentially want him to announce he's not running for 2024. That's really the end goal in this thing here. But they've got the lane bumpers out there for Joe. You see, we want him, hey, we don't want him to run again, but we don't want all of us looking bad. So, hey, let's just work with the DOJ. Oh, no, he's working with us. He's cooperating. He's, he's letting us know it's much different. This is uh, good to go. But rest assured, everything that's happening right now with Joe Biden is a very big deal. You know it's a big deal. You even saw his chief of staff, Ron Klain, is peacing out. Why? Because Ron Klain understands this is the end of the road. And it's something, if you've been watching I'm Right, it's something you've been aware of for a long time. The people around Joe Biden were yanking him to the left, being radical the whole time, because they always knew this was just going to be a stepping stone on the way to some lucrative media or think tank or academia job. This is Joe Biden getting shoved out, but with the lane bumpers up. We don't want to destroy everybody. Let's just make sure he loses. That's why you're seeing what you're seeing.